Well, if you are already planning your summer vacation, Shadron might be on your list of places to visit. There are many things to see in the Pine Ridge region of our state. While you are in Shadron, you might want to take in some time and check out the Dawes County Historical Museum. In this segment, John travels to Shadron to learn more about the museum that offers a wide variety of exhibits. Hi everybody, we are in Shadron and we are learning more about the Dawes County Historical Museum. And joining me now with more on this is Linda Rotness. And Linda, it's good to see you today. Yeah, thank you. There is a lot to see here at this museum. Maybe first of all, how big is it? The Card family had this quarter section. There were five in the family, two girls married and the three boys never married. They decided the last one was not going to use it they could give it to the Dawes County Historical Society. Hmm. So we have a quarter section. What are some of the buildings <clears throat> that you have here? Well, we have a log cabin, and then we also have a log barn. It was built to be a barn. We have a schoolhouse with a merry-go-round that was made in Shadron. Uh, we have another schoolhouse that we changed. It was used, you know, a lot of schoolhouses were used for church service too and we have that as our church. We have a blacksmith shop. Then we have another big building that part of it has 3,000 dolls. We call that our doll house. And then the other part has transportation. And then we have a caboose and a building that has some machinery in it that was made in Dawes County. It's very unique. It has a rototiller in the front, the drill behind it, and then the packer wheels so that he could go down the field and till and drill and pack all at one time. He had trouble with his plow cutting in through his stubble, so he made this big elaborate machine. We call it the stubble cutter. Uh, he never used it. <laughs> he decided, oh, I should just make a better plow. <laughs> so we have that big machine and a few others that he did. We have a toy collection, and, and we also have a display, um, Shadron to Chicago horse race. It was a thousand mile horse race in 1893. I don't think there's ever been any other horse race that long, but some of the things that they incorporated are still used in long distance horse races. Linda, is there anything else we should know? The last Sunday in September, we have what we call the History and Action Day. We have wagons here pulled by teams. We have a Model A car that we get rides in, corn shelling and apple pressing and kids games like jacks and marbles. Uh, we even have a push lawnmower that they get to try. People show us how to quilt and tool leather and all kinds of things. All kinds of things at the, at the museum that they can look at and try out. In May, we have the grade school kids, third grade usually, comes out for a day of pioneer school. And we go to the schoolhouse, write with a quill and use a slate and do a spelling bee and <laughs> tour the museum too. But. They always have a good time. When can people come? Are you open seasonally? We open May 1st and we're open every day from uh, 10 to 4 and 1 to 5 on Sundays and holidays. Okay. And we go to the end of September. Really beautiful <laughs> area here, a neat setting for a museum. And Linda, thank you very much for letting us come and take a little tour. Mm -hmm.